Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking to you guys about all of the books that I read in January. I was saying all of the books, but I actually only finished two books, plus I started one and I'm very far into that book and I'm really loving that one as well. The first book that I finished in 2020 is A Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. This is the second book in the Cassidy Blake series. Book number one is called City of Ghosts. I won't tell you guys anything about this book, the sequel, because of course spoilers for the first book, but let me just say that I enjoyed this book just as much as the first one and I gave this book a four to like a four and a half out of five stars and I thoroughly enjoyed this adventure of Cassidy and her ghost friend Jacob. So yeah, City of Ghosts. This is the first book in a, how do you say that again? Like a middle grade urban fantasy story is I believe the best way of how you can describe this series. We follow our main character Cassidy Blake and I believe that she is around the age of 12. She can see ghosts but the ironic thing is that her parents are ghost hunters and her dad looks more into like the, the the history the backstory of the ghost tales to be honest and her mother is more of like the storyteller she talks about it she makes it seem as though ghosts really do exist like i said the ironic thing is that cassidy can actually go to the ghost world and her best friend is jacob which her parents think is her imaginary friend but actually he's a ghost and cassidy's parents are going to start their new tv show which is going to be all about ghost hunting and going to these ghost failed cities all around the world. So in the first book they go to Edinburgh, if I'm saying that name correctly, and we follow Cassidy on this really great, mysterious, but also scary adventure. I love how brave and how adventurous Cassidy is, and then Jacob, her like ghost sidekick, is one of the most sassy characters that you will ever meet. And in the second book of this series they are going to Paris. And I believe that in the third book, which the title is out, the cover is out, I don't know what it's called again, they are going to New Orleans again don't know how to pronounce that but it is a very spooky hunted town in America so excited to see what the third book will bring I am definitely enjoying the series until so far after that I didn't know what I wanted to pick up I didn't know if I want to pick up another fantasy story but my friends have been telling me to read this book for so incredibly long and I felt like this was the right moment I read Radio Silence by Alice Oseman and my god, should I have read this book earlier? If you are around my age, like 20, uh, maybe even preferably like 17 or 18, around the time when you are planning on going to your next education after high school, maybe even university, this is a book that you need to read. Our main character, Frances, she... <laughs> she doesn't really have a life. Like, all she does is just studying, studying, studying. She wants to study English at... Cambridge, I believe, or Oxford. One of the two, she just wants to get into a really high prestige, pristine <laughs> college, like a really highly praised university. She doesn't really have anything on the side besides school until she meets Aled. Aled and Frances become really, really amazing friends. This is a story all about friendship and especially the struggle between what society expects from you when you go to school and what you should do with your life afterwards, that you should go to university, but maybe you are not really sure about if you want to do that at all or if you enjoy doing it. Maybe you just want to work. It is amazing and the friendship between Aladdin and Francis is so good too because there is no romance between them. This is not a romance story. It's all about friendship and discovering who you are and struggling with it and uh, mental illnesses so it is just an incredible book and I loved um, the way that Alice Oseman wrote the stories how the characters handled certain situations because for the first time in a very long time certain situations came up in this book and in regular YA books you would see it go a certain way and you would be like slapping yourself like can these characters just see that they are doing something so completely wrong and then in this book, Francis and the other characters overall went the other way than you would expect and they made very adult choices. They talked 
instead of not talking about certain things, I loved it so incredibly much. And it's one of my new favorite books. I gave this a five out of five stars also because I'm struggling with university myself. I'm doing biomedical sciences, but I'm doing a minor right now in youth studies, which is the opposite of biomedical sciences. It is all about people, about social sciences. And I'm noticing that I enjoy learning about people way more. So right now I'm in this moment in my life where I'm like really doubting about what I should do if maybe I should go study psychology after this bachelor and study even longer than I'm already doing. Like I'm gonna be a student forever. So this book came at me at the right time of my life. Like I'm struggling with this right now, even though I'm almost 21 and reading about someone else having the same struggles as me, it feels comforting. Um, so that is why I also love this book so much because I share so many of the same thoughts that Francis had. Like I said, it just comforted me so incredibly much. So a five out of five stars for this book. Like I said in my goals for 2020, like my bookish goals, I am not making any more TBR videos because I'm such a mood reader. So after Radio Silence, I didn't know what to pick up. So I just looked at my bookshelf in my dorm and just kind of picked some books, read a couple of pages, and um, I picked up War Cross by Murray Lu. And I've had this book in my bookshelf for over three years, maybe. And I picked it up and I was completely sucked into the first 50 pages of the story. Emika, Amika, I don't know how to pronounce her first name, Emika Chen. She is struggling in New York with her whole life. Her dad passed away and she has to live her life on her own, but she's struggling in New York. And to kind of keep up with all the costs, she is a bounty hunter in the Warcross world. Warcross is the most popular game in this world that we follow and she's a bounty hunter so she kind of hunts people who do illegal bets or stuff like that. Every single year there's this really big war cross game event and when Amika is watching the show she is kind of accidentally being glitched into the broadcasted championship for everyone in the world to see like millions, maybe even billions of people are watching this event. She thinks that she's gonna be punished, but then the creator of Warcross, Haideho Tanaka, if I'm saying his name correctly again, <laughs> he asks Amika to become part of a very special job. She gets thrust into this really mysterious adventure and I am over halfway through. I'm really enjoying it. The first 50 pages I was sucked into the story, then I kind of didn't feel it anymore and then I started reading again and I am loving it until so far. It is such an action-packed read and I feel like if you have read Ready Player One or you have seen the movie, it is not the same. It's definitely a different story, but if you enjoy that feel of being like in a virtual reality in a gaming world, this is the book for you. It's not a very slow-paced story, which I sometimes really enjoy. I will probably finish this in a couple of days and I'm expecting to give this book a four out of five stars. I always think that I can make these videos in such a short time, but then I always just keep talking. <laughs> I talk way too much about things that I enjoy. As you guys can see, I haven't read a lot in January. I had some deadlines, so unfortunately I was focusing on other things as well, but I did enjoy all the books that I read and that is the most important thing in my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below which books you have read this month or what your thoughts are on the books that I read in January. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!